Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. everyone and welcome to my zone online school my name is teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today our theme this week is animals and before we get into any lessons boys and girls we know that we need to sanitize so let's take our sanitizer and rub a little bit inside our hands around our hands in between our fingers, on our wrists, and our fingertips too. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. For today's lesson, we will be doing coloring, drawing, and tracing. Now boys and girls, let us start our lesson by going to page three. On page three, we are going to be doing some coloring. And today we're going to be coloring some farm animals. Now, as you can see, we have three farm animals. We're going to say the name of the farm animal and then talk about the sound each one makes. Now, a cow, as you can see, is chewing grass there. Hello, Mr. Cow. Now, the cow sound is moo. Everyone, let's say moo. Good job. <laughs> then, next to the cow, we have a chicken. Now, the chicken says boop, 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 boop. Everyone, let's say Good job. Then the last one that we can see there is a pig. And the pig says, oink, 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 oink. Well done, everyone. Good job. Now I have a song that we can sing before we start coloring so that we know our farm animals. So I'd like you to sing it with me if you already know it. When I say, Old MacDonald had a farm, you say, E-I-E-I-O. And then when it's time to make the sound of the animal, I want you to join me. You can even do the actions as well. We can have a cow, maybe. Then we can have our chicken. And then we can have our pig. <laughs> so, are you ready? Wonderful. Let's begin. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had some cows, E-I-E-I-O. With a moo-moo here and a moo-moo there, here moo, there moo, everywhere moo-moo. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had some chickens, E-I-E-I-O. With a pock pock here and a pock pock there, here pock there pock everywhere pock pock. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had some pigs, 
E-I-E-I-O With a oink oink here and a oink oink there Here oink there oink everywhere Oink oink old MacDonald had a farm E-I-E-I-O Yay! <laughs> Good job everyone! So, these are our farm animals that are making these sounds. I want you to try and color them. Make sure that you use colors that you know animals have already. So, I've never seen a pink cow. So, try hard to use colors you know exist for all the animals. Then, when you're done coloring our farm animals, boys and girls, you can move on to the next page, page four. On page four, you are going to continue having fun. This time, you're going to be drawing your favorite pet or farm or domestic animals. I want you to tell me how you can take care of these different animals. Now, I have a few animals on the board and we're going to take a look at them and see how we can take care of them. Let's take a look at the first one. Now, the first animal is a lion. And as you can see, our lion is the male lion because it has its mane. Can you roar like a lion? Roar! <laughs> So, how do we take care of lions? Well, we have special places for them that they can stay and hunt. These are national parks. We protect them so that nobody steals their beautiful mane or just kills them for their meat. So, if your favorite animal is a wild animal like a lion, you can draw a lion. Then, there next to the lion is a dog. You can see he's very, very happy to see us. Everybody, let's bark like a dog. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> so, how do we take care of dogs? Well, since dogs are pets that live with us, we need to make sure that they are eating good food, food and that they are sleeping somewhere warm and safe and also that they are exercising because dogs like to run around. So if your favorite animal is a dog, then you can go ahead and draw it. Remember, dogs are not the only pets you can have. You can even have a cat. Now let's move on to the next animal we can see. This one is called a duck. Now, a duck is part of the farm animals we were talking about before. Can you act like a duck? Bop, bop, bop. And it shakes its little tail. <laughs> so, this duck can be taken care of. And how do we take care of ducks? Well, we can feed them, make sure they have lots of water to drink and also swim around. Ducks love to swim and fly as well. So, these are our animals. We have a lion, a dog, and a duck. If you want to draw any of them, that's fine. Only choose one animal that you say is your favorite, and then don't forget to color it. When you're done with that page, boys and girls, we can now move on to the next one, page five. On page five, we are going to be doing the number seven. Now, as you can see, we have a lot of number sevens to do. Remember, we have been doing numbers all this time. And now it's time for the number seven. I'm going to help you draw some of the number sevens. And then we are going to count up to seven. So let's take a look at the board. So, on the board, I have our number seven. To start, we are going to practice in the air with our finger. So, I'd like you to take your finger and then you are going to go across and down. I want you to make sure that your number seven touches both the top line and the bottom line as well. 
Let's try again in the air. Across and down. Good job, everyone. Now, let's draw our number seven. Take your color or your pencil. Then you're going to start where we have said across on top. So you go down, across and down. Remember, there are some rules that we need to follow when we are tracing. The first one is to make sure that we follow all the trace dots. The next rule is saying that we should make sure that we take our time. There's no need to rush. If you follow all the trace dots and you take your time, your work will be super neat. And that's what we want to see. So let's try again. We're going to go across and down. Good job, everyone. Let's do another one. Remember to take your time. Across and down. Well done. Let's do the last one together. Across and down. Good job. Now, we need to count up to seven because remember, boys and girls, seven is an important number. So, we're going to start by counting all our flowers. Let's see if there are seven flowers. Are you ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven! They are seven flowers. Well done if you counted with me. So, boys and girls, I'm leaving you to do your work. The first one is to make sure you color our cow moo, our chicken, and our pig. Oink, oink. Then, when you're done, I want you to cut, to draw your favorite type of animal. It can be a wild animal, it can be a pet, or it can be a farm animal. Then, last but not least, I want you to please continue tracing the number seven. Take your time with all of it and have fun. And you can even sing whilst you're doing your work. I'll see you when you're done after the advert break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. Boys and girls, we have now come to the end of our lesson and I hope you had fun. If you were not sure what to do or you didn't understand, that's okay. You can ask an adult for help. Just make sure that you finish your work by yourself. So now that we are done, it's important for us to sanitize. Remember, when we sanitize, boys and girls, we are trying to stay safe away from any germs that might hurt us. So sanitize every time you are done with your lessons. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. Sashi was supposed to come and see me, but I haven't seen him today. Sashi? Oh, <laughs> there you are, Sashi. Hello. So, Sashi and I would like to say goodbye. Are you ready to sing, Sashi? Wonderful. Goodbye, goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, it's time to say goodbye. Bye! Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF, My Zone Online School, Amos Mir Syllabus, and Capricorn Foundation.